Hello everyone and welcome back to XM.com for another technical analysis video for Tuesday, October 12th. I'm Christina Barthani, the investment analyst, taking a look at pound dollar in the daily chart, which uh, has been quite silent so far this week, extending its consolidation phase around the 1.36 level, also being unable to close decisively above the 20-day uh, moving average and the 23.6% Fibonacci of the uh, Dow, like from the three-year high of 1.4248 to the uh, new 2021 low of 1.3411. Uh, well, currently, I can't see any bullish signals in the market. Uh, the RSI is still uh, flattening uh, just below its 50 neutral mark, despite the quick rebound of the uh, 30 oversold level. Uh, the stochastics are also sloping downwards at the moment. And if you look at the simple moving averages, uh, the bearish crosses are still valid. Keep promoting the downtrend from the three-year high of 1.4248. So overall, the short-term risk for pound dollar is uh, still skewed to the downside. And if the 23.6% Fibonacci of 1.3608 um, proves hard to break, then the focus will turn immediately back to the nearby support of 1.3540, a break of which would take us straight down to the new 2021 low 1.3411. Uh, now, what happens if this floor fails to hold and the downtrend extends uh, lower instead? Uh, well, in this case, I would use uh, the uh, Fibonacci uh, to find the next support levels, uh, taking the uh, uptrend from the 2020 lows to the uh, 2021 highs. And uh, in this case, we can see that uh, the 38.2% uh, Fibonacci of 1.3163 is the next uh, barrier on the downside. Uh, this has been uh, quite restrictive during the last five months of 2020. Uh, but uh, before we reach that point, uh, there is another. Uh, there might be another opportunity for a rebound around uh, 1.3280. Uh, which has also been acting both as support and resistance uh, during the last two months of 2020. Uh, now, um, uh, just to avoid confusion, uh, I will delete this uh, Fibonacci, uh, this long-term Fibonacci tool and return back to the previous uh, Fibonacci levels. Uh, those, uh, those might attract attention if the uh, price reverses higher. So if the 23.6% uh, Fibonacci of 1.3608 and the 20-day moving average uh, proof easy to break then uh, then the next resistance could come around the 50 day moving average and the 38.2 percent Fibonacci of 1.37 uh, 30 uh, while higher than that um, uh, a stronger battle a tougher battle could take place around this uh, tentative resistance trend line and the uh, 200 day moving average current at 1.3840 um, the market action could become more noisy around this area. However, if we manage to surpass it, uh, the door would open for the 61.8% uh, Fibonacci of 1.3982, uh, unless, of course, the uh, 1.3912 resistance uh, blocks the way up once again. Uh, so overall, I see uh, downside corrections or some consolidation to be more likely in the short term than any meaningful uh, rally uh, for pound dollar, uh, unless the price, of course, manages to uh, close decisively above the 1.3608 and the 20 day moving average, in which case I expect uh, more upside corrections. So that's all for uh, pound dollar today. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day.